Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. In this one I will be showing you the new way to make a really easy way also to make a nice mega menu. I will be using uh, the Cadence uh, plugin, the Cadence Blocks Pro more specifically you need. So let me go to my plugins over here. So with the free plugin you will not be able to do this, so you need this Pro uh, extension. If you're used to Cadence, you know it used to you were able to do this already, but for that you needed to have the Cadence Pro team. So and it's still a vi viable option. If you have the Cadence Pro team, you can go to Appearance, go to a Cadence over here, and then over here you had to check this Ultimate menu, and then go to Customize, and from there you could create your Mega menu. Now they have released a while ago their Cadence Blocks Pro update, which goes over here. And then you have here your headers and navigations. So the last video I made was also about this. So you can look uh, at that video if you want to see uh, a little bit about those two options. Um, what is the nice thing about this? You don't need the Cadence uh, team at all to be using this. Every full site editing team you have will also be uh, able to use the headers you create with the Cadence Blocks Pro. So you can choose to only get the Blocks Pro uh, make your headers with that and you can use them and import them in whatever full site editing experience or team you have so that's really nice and I will show you at the end of the video with the standard 2025 team that this actually uh, works so let's get into it so I go to my headers you will see some here let me make a new one just a let's call this new header click on next i'll create a basic one just import one and then make this one for tablet and mobile then i'll first have to create a navigation so this is just imported to show you something but it's not an actual one so if you click on it it will ask you about uh, creating a navigation oh i think there we go make a selection so i'll just make a um, th the test one uh, select and you see I have my uh, navigation here. So what can we do now? Um, is create a mega menu and there are two options to open up the mega menu settings. You can uh, just click on one of these things and you will see I have actually already uh, a mega menu inside of here. And how can we enable this? So normally you will see this will look like that. this. So you have your header and you have imported a navigation. And if you click on a navigation link, you can or do this, enable mega menu over here, or you can click on this icon, which will both have the same effect. If I enable this, you see this is automatically toggled. And same thing, if I enable this, it's also automatically tag it, tag, uh, toggled here. So these, these two are the same uh, option. And then you can um, choose one of the pre-made uh, designs. Uh, it's made also with the cadence block, so you will see it will be a row layout often with different columns to be able to make this kind of layout. Um, so we have the, the two column and the three column uh, layout over here. Uh, this is just the basic uh, layouts and then you have some more advanced ones so which is a really easy and nice way if you don't have any ID or you need some inspiration I suggest you just pick one of those that you think will suit your uh, website let me just import this one what we um, have now is immediately a, a nice layout and if you want to look it's and if you're used to the cadence blocks the nice thing is that it uses the same um, blocks as you're used to so we see it's just a standard row layout that has been used and inside of this row layout you have the three sections so it means here you have a three column layout also means you can easily customize the layout afterwards if you're used to working with it I'm not will be going too much into detail because uh, this is something I have done in different videos already. The only more specific thing is that often you have inside of these sections you will see there are navigation blocks and these navigations navigation blocks let me just take the same menu or maybe another one. Um, so these, these are some um, uh, navigations that have been set up. Normally you will have created some navigations already or you can just create them from here. Um, and these navigations block, navigation blocks have some styling options uh, within them that you can set over here. Um, and I always suggest doing it here because this is the overlying block as you see here. Every color you have set here will 
be inherited to the subblocks uh, inside. So if I uh, change the color to white, you see all text immediately changes to the white uh, setting. The other option is to do it individually for each one. You also have the option here to do the color, but then you have to do each one individually, which is an option, of course, if each one has to look different. But otherwise, you save a lot of time to just take the overlying navigation block and you set your styling there. And then if you need something specific, for example, this last one needs to be looking different, then we can um, overwrite it by setting it here individually. But the other two will still inherit from the parent. And the last one has been overwritten by setting something here. So that's always an option. OK, um, let me go back. Uh, let me close this down and let me go back to my uh, uh, mega menu settings. So here you see enable mega menu and here it's also enabled. And then here we have some options to play around with to set the width of our mega menu. Let me first save this and then show you how we can. Let me click on view site in a new tab. How can you import now this uh, header inside of your website? It will not always be standard like this this is because it's already been set up we open up the customizer this is the cadence team by the way so if you use the cadence team and you want to use the new header block you go to the header settings and then this will be de will be not on by default the enable block header so here you see it uses the normal standard header layout as you're used to if you're used to the cadence team and if we enable this, you see all the options disappear and we have to select one of our created headers. So uh, let me say new header, for example, this is the one we are creating. We click on publish and now uh, it's imported. I was busy with the sample page and you see this is how it looks with the uh, black one and then at uh, the bottom, the blue one that I over that I have overwritten. And you see by default now it uses the full width of the um, screen here so and you will see with the settings here it's set to content so it uses the width of the content uh, to be um, and by default because it's a row layout here let me go up to the row layout here um, it's using the settings from over here yeah. um, you can override it i can set a custom width inside of my row layout here it is now it's 700 pixels that i've set up let me refresh my page here and show you and you see it it works for the row layout itself but you see for the mega menu it still spans across the whole width so what is the right way to do it is not touch this in initially just leave the default settings as it is and you go to the sample page uh, so the thing where you enable the mega menu and you use this let's say we don't want the full width we select custom width and we can say you see here 900 pixels and then we have to set the alignment um, it's a bit weird at first with the alignment so i have set it to 900 pixels and an alignment to the right and you will look you will see it looks like it has gone to the left you see it's actually scoots over to the left and that's but it's aligned to the right side of the overlying parent. You see this, this edge is to the right side. If I pick a left here, you will see it actually moves to the right visually. You see it's completely out to the left and it's not on the screen in anymore. So this is not a good option, but now it's aligned to the left side of my sample page. So it's uh, in, a, in relation to the, that, that it's, uh, the left is, uh, showing up. If we have center, it will be nicely centered underneath the sample page. So sample page will be exactly in the middle, but you see again, this is not looking fine. So here we should uh, use the right one. Yeah. And then with the 900 pixels, for example, I think this looks quite fine. And now you see it's 900 pixels, the actual mega menu and also the content. Um, so that's the right way to set it up. Um, these are some extra options you have here. You also have some uh, styling options which you can set. And also if you want to have everything the same, have the same look and inherit it, you better set it up over here so that everything starts to, these are the link styles from everything inside of this navigation. So you can set it up over here already and then uh, everything will uh, get inherited. Um, so these are some options. Uh, Submenu styles, this is something different. You see there are a lot of uh, options here that have not been touched. That's because it's submenu and we are working with a mega menu. Yeah? So if you use a submenu, then you can set some styling over here, but it's a mega menu, so that's something else. Yeah? 
So then, um, if you want to use an, an, a submenu, let me remove my mega menu here. You see there are actually two options. So let me close this as well. I have my sample page. This is the one we just created. If you go to the uh, left one, there is nothing here. You have two options, the mega menu one, and here is the sub menu one. So this is the just a normal sub menu, and then you can use the styling options that I just showed you, for example. Yeah. Um, what is also nice to uh, know, we have, if we go to the navigation itself, so let me click on the uh, three ones over here, the overlaying navigation block, you have some orientation options. Now it's set to vertical. This means it is stacked on top of each other, like one, two, three, like this, and they will always stay like that. We also have the horizontal option, which means it normally will be next to each other, but this only works if there is enough space to put them next to each other. If these two titles were really, really short, for example, let me remove it and only keep the title you see now they stack next to each other. So it will automatically try to put them horizontally next to each other uh, if there is enough space to do so. If there is not enough space, they will just stack on top of each other and looking actually actually a little bit the same as the, the vertical one. Yeah. What is the cool thing with the horizontal one? We have some extra options down here where we can say more specifically, we want to create a grid layout. If you set the amount of columns to one, you will have exactly the same layout as if setting this to vertical. But you can choose to set this to two columns, for example, and then even if there is not enough space, it will put them in two columns no matter what. So here you have a bit more styling options to set your navigation in a certain way. Um, especially if you go from desktop to mobile view, this can sometimes come in handy to um, make a menu that's maybe is next to each other and you want to stack them on top of each other once we arrive at mobile then this setting is uh, nice to have and to do okay this is how it looks on desktop if we change our view here to the tablet you will see it changes completely yeah uh, with the the trigger icon over here then i like to open the visual builder this looks exactly the same as how it used to be in the uh, customizer as well this helps to keep a little bit of a to see a little bit of what's going on so we have the middle row with our three columns uh, and then we here we have the off canvas and the off canvas f off canvas now looks like this and we can set the same navigation as we used for the desktop view so that was the test navigation let me select it and you see if we use the same one these actually have their mega menu already enabled so it imports the same settings as we have just set up but you look you see it looks a bit weird here let me first save it and show you on the front end how it looks so we have our uh, sample page and this is looking a bit weird now let me go back to uh, desktop for a second and change the styling options uh -huh. it has been set to vertical now so i was so messing around um, you see that it makes a big difference let me put it back to horizontal so it looks at least decent on desktop again refresh my page there we go so we have our um, menu like we're used to then we go to the inspect and i'll change it to a mobile uh, setting so we have the other header like this if we click on this you see this is not looking really nicely at the moment this is looking like this at the moment so we have to change a bit the way our mega menu looks uh, in the mobile view because it looks a bit weird uh, it's not all on the same spot if we really have the mobile view you see it tries to make it so that everything is inside but it's still not completely um, how it should be yeah if I open up my sample page, you see it's not aligned properly. You see it stacks on top of each other already instead of next to each other. So that's already fine, but I don't see anything yet. So let's open up our uh, mega menu again and we go to our uh, tablet view. Let's open up our off canvas. And here we are. We can say how much width we want. Let me change this to the full width. To start with and then we go inside of the navigation 
we can set it now to no, you will see it will inherit i want it to be vertical on the tablet and on the mobile view like this so we have it nicely next to each other and um, so we have some more room to work with and now it's also full screen so this will also work a little bit better and if we then uh, open up this it should look like this so we have everything in place let me first refresh so you can see open this up now this looks fine it's nicely aligned we open this and you see now it is nicely aligned as well so it uses the same styling that i have set up on desktop but we have to change it a little bit by going to our uh, tablet view or mobile view if you don't want the tablet view and only the mobile view you have to be making sure you're on the right spot over here and then you can set the uh, default it will also just use the full width that is available um, for it but especially the navigation itself here we can change a lot by using the vertical or the horizontal setting uh, to make it look a bit nicer yeah let's say we want because we have a lot of space we still want this to be next to each other you see now it is uh, uh, on, on top of each other we can set it to specifically to horizontal here and we can say it should use a grid of uh, two columns or maybe even three columns and then it will force them to be next to each other and we can use this um, for this as well let me just in use the same standard one like this this is just imported for the video sake to make it a bit faster we set it to horizontal as well i want it to use a grid of three columns as well you see we can start styling our menu a little bit more like this refreshing the page and you see one two three one two three on mobile it's not looking nice on tablet this would probably yeah this would probably work quite well so this is how you can create a mega menu really really easily and then just going to the tablet or mobile view especially the navigation trying to set the spacing to the um, orientation i mean to horizontal or vertical depending on how much space you have and how broad and how width the width of your titles um, it's quite easy to make a really simple fast mega menu yeah so if you're not sure how to begin i suggest you just click on this setting and you import a spacing or you import a pre-made template and then you start uh, creating something from there uh, let me show you that this works also on a non-cadence team so i have changed to the 2024 team and if i go to the front end you will see my header is now gone it just uses the standard one that i um just the standard menu it's importing so we have to go to edit site what we are also can do is just uh, so if i open up my edit site i am uh, at the home page inside of this header the thing you can do is just remove or delete the um, header and then you see it's empty and now i can just click on header advanced and also click on new header and this will also import it inside of this uh, template of my home page for example this is a way and you see there it is now it's using my cadence advanced header block inside of a 2024 team the only thing you will see sometimes you have a bit weird looking layout um, and that's because the row layout is used here so if i open this up we have our row layout and this is using this setting team content inner width and this is normally working well if you are using the cadence team if i remove the team content um, and just remove this as well click on save because the team content inner width uh, will be different with my 2024 if i have nothing set up now you see it's looking again like it should so if you want to use it inside of another team and it looks a bit weird you should go to the row layout settings and you just click on the team content inner width disable it make sure there is nothing over here as well and then it will just use the 900 pixels that we have set up um, in the header settings itself but you see it works really uh, uh, perfectly fine uh, using a cadence header inside of an other team as well Okay, I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.